I don't get it, man. I don't even understand why niggas is mad because I, I voice my motherfucking opinion, man. Like, opinions like an asshole. Everybody got one. But, like, niggas think I'm hating and shit. But for what? Hating on what, man? Like, I don't care if, if, if niggas sell albums if they don't, man. Like, I don't want y'all to, to stop being Ninth Wonder Fonte fans. I don't want niggas to stop buying their music. I don't want niggas to join my camp campaign or jump on the bandwagon and be like, oh, yeah, them niggas is wag, woody woo. Like, nah, I'm just sharing something that I went through. You know what I'm saying? I'm just sharing a little story about me. But what's killing me is all these fucking Twitter inboxes and Facebook inboxes I'm getting and all these... Yo, Joe, come, come to the side. Let me holla at you. Like, that's what's killing me. All y'all niggas who, like, trying to pull me to the side and be like, oh, yo, Joe, you speaking that real. You telling the truth. You keeping it G. Like, why is y'all niggas inboxing me saying that shit? Put it out there. You feel like I'm keeping it G. Or, like, I mean, you ain't got to stroke my ego, dog. Straight up, man, because I don't need nobody to join this movement. I want to see y'all niggas win. That's the only reason why I even give a fuck about this NC hip hop. Because there's some dope niggas out here that I feel like I want to see on TV. I want to see some of y'all niggas in positions, man. Even niggas I don't even rock with, like, if you dope, you dope. It's simple as that. It's never been no hatred on my side. Just like, you know what I'm saying, Fontaine and Knife, like, if you like their music, cool. I ain't saying nothing about their music, man. And I don't want them niggas to do nothing for my career. Like, none of that shit. Like, I ain't got no music career. I ain't sold no albums, man. Like, I ain't came out with no no album and, and put it in the stores and lived and made some money off of that shit. So why would I give a fuck about that now? We're going to the opening. We got three minutes on that That's what's up. That's support, man. That's how you support NC Hip Hop. You on Twitter, talking your little shit, and your little circle. You come out, you support real niggas who kill shit on stage. That's how you support NC Hip Hop. NC, man, it's real lovely. It can be better. If if a couple of things happen, it could be a whole lot better. But you know, that's neither here nor there. Now, the state of NC hip hop is this. Once we get to the point where we support one another and the cast that's there already from NC come back to make the bridge for NC and make a music connection in NC, then the state of hip hop will be Done. The interview Josie did, I'm, I'm gonna tell the truth. I think uh, I think it was real, and, and I'm not taking sides or you know trying to be real biased about it. But it was real. It wasn't like he. When I actually read it, and I read it three times, I'm not gonna quote anything. I'm just gonna say that it wasn't like he was lashing out, saying, "Oh well, bump you, bump you, them niggas whack." It won't even like that. To me, I feel like it was real. It was something that a lot of us wanted to say but didn't know how to really say it. First of all, let me go ahead and uh, give y'all some clarification about the little interview I said. You know what I'm saying? I said what the fuck I said. Deal with that. And let's move on. Let's get past that. Because I'm not going to let this shit consume me, man. Like, I had a personal opinion about some niggas who I dealt with personally. I mean, like, I ain't trying to stop nobody movement. I ain't trying to fuck with nobody album. So I, I, I could really care less, man. I just spoke my mind. And for y'all niggas to be upset about me speaking my mind, well, you know, I want to apologize. Matter of fact, this is a personal apology because y'all some sensitive niggas upset because I said what the fuck I said. That's the only apology you're going to get, straight up. Now, let's get into it. So. The thing is, you know, I don't care nothing about no album sales, dog. because like I said, I ain't never sold no album. I mean, you know, I was signed with the HOJ doing all that shit, blah, 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 but like, my album was poorly put together, and once you sign a contract, nigga, you lose all control over that, man. Like, you, you don't control what you put out. Like, when you sign to a label, you ain't the boss no more. The CEO is the fucking boss. So I ain't had no control of what I put out, but I ain't crying about that neither. I don't give a fuck. I don't want y'all to listen to my shit or buy my shit. I said what I said, and y'all niggas must be interested. I mean, like, it's a lot of niggas who feel like Ninth and Tay and them done shitted on them, but it's a lot of niggas ain't gonna say nothing. Like, I don't give a fuck if you try to blackball me. You can't stop nothing I'm gonna never do it anyway, nigga. So, like, I mean, it is what it is. And like I said, I said my piece. I try to move on. But, like, I, I, I see all this other whack shit going on. Niggas got all these comments about a nigga saying their opinion. I ain't hear all this fucking hate on tape when he was calling knife all types of bitches and shit. Like, let's be real. 
Like, see, he, I mean, he spoke his opinion. You had to respect that, just like niggas gotta respect what I'm saying. So, I mean, it is what it is. NC Hip Hop is, is, is not about just two niggas, man, or two niggas' movements. It's, man, I'm at Shakedown tonight, and there's some artists in here that's going in. I don't know. You feel me? Like, I just came out here so we can check out some of the real shit that's going on. It ain't just all about no fucking, no jam law, no whatever the fuck, you know what I'm saying, niggas got going on. It's like, it's mad shit, but that's my opinion. If you get mad about my opinion, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm just a, I'm just a, a nigga from East Durham, you feel me? Like, voicing his opinion. If you don't like what the fuck I'm saying, change the damn station.